Hey guys, I wanted to make this video on the supercharger uh, effort. And if you haven't checked it out already, uh, check out the other Texas-based Honda channels, uh, More Motorsports Garage and Texas Honda channel. All right, this is the Texas Honda channel Instagram page, and you can see that it has a lot of cool content, painting the EP3. Uh, he's done a lot of suspension work, and he had an RSX turbo, and um, the one that is of value is the MDX Supercharged. So go ahead and take a look. Check out that channel. In his video, he goes over the adapter plates and the kit that he bought from Prank Parts. And unfortunately, there is no kit for the 2022 MDX, so I was planning on making my own. Uh, here you can see the kit from where he sourced it. Okay, so we need to take off the air box and I believe that we are going to need to access some of the um, bigger 10 millimeters. So there's one there and one there. And in the back, I don't believe that there are any. It's kind of held in by this tray. So I believe there's two in the rear. And then if I take a look at the front, the front has the same thing. Uh, these uh, tabs here need to be probably pushed out. Let's see if I can get a good uh, angle on that. There you go. You push those tabs in and I believe this should come up. So I'm gonna try to do that and be very careful to not damage anything. Okay, so what we have here is the intake box taken off. You can see some of the points of, and the rear has just these little suction things. So, not so impressive. Not impressive when you uh, take off that uh, cover there, but it definitely gives much more room. And from the side, you can see we'll have a pretty good amount of room. I also wanna mention that if you want to do your spark plugs, here your, your front three and then your rear three are back here so with that intake off you can uh, reach them back here so uh, again these are the 10 millimeter so if you need to do a spark plug change or a coil pack change fairly simple to do again you can see the back where it is held on and the front locations where the bolts are at pretty simple unscrew the throttle body So here we have the supercharger up there and take a look at the bottom here and seeing it line up with the with the drive line. So this is what it will look like and then of course we have to account for the hood closure. So if we move for example, this item down, you can kind of see right here, it should clear essentially. And then as we bring this down, you can kind of see it will close without hitting. There should be enough room up there to not hit. All right, so here it is, 2022 MDX, possible supercharger installation. So the air box is removed, the supercharger is there, um, and it's lining up with the uh, drive line. Of course, there'll need to be some adjustments, but you can see down there, there's the um, alternator. And one of the things we'll have to figure out is whether it interferes with the uh, ECU. So the ECU is out here instead of inside. And if we take a look, uh, 
probably at this angle here. You can see it's right in the center. And if it comes down, it may need to be pulled over, maybe to where this ground is, to then come over to the alternator and then go around. So yeah, there might need to be some rerouting, but we might be safe. I don't know yet. We'll see if we need to do anything about this um, motor mount bracket. The crank pulley is just barely off to the back side of that. So there might need to be some sort of bracketry here uh, as a pulley to bring it out a little bit further and safely and then around the uh, supercharger. So if, if that's the case, uh, the, the uh, plate could be revised further back and then uh, we shouldn't have any clearance issues. These pictures are here so you can see the brackets and all of the bolts. Once you take off your air filter, just in case you lose one, you'll know where everything goes. There it is. All right, so that's what it looks like from the inside. So we got a mimic. If you didn't catch it, uh, the problem was that the new intake manifold designed for the 2022 is actually closed off for the intake runners. There is no open air there, so the supercharger sitting on top will not be pushing any air through the new intake manifold design. Now I have to decide whether or not I can source a new um, or used manifold from the junkyard and start cutting it up inside, see if I can still create the plate, put the supercharger on top, or I go with maybe the previous year model of the J35 that has the plastic intake manifold and see if uh, that one would be easier to cut up and have the runners exposed uh, so that way the supercharger can supply the air to the intake runners. So I just really haven't decided at this point whether it's worth it doing or going with a different design. Uh, such as twin turbos, small turbos on the front and back, and having that plumbing there. Just really haven't decided. I thought uh, for sure, after seeing the other video on more motorsports and the Texas Honda channel, that this was going to be a very simple task. It even looked that the um, top plate was very smooth compared to the previous year model. It was very flat. Uh, I thought it was going to be really super simple to just send off uh, a piece in 3D and get it done. Now I'm just going to put everything back together, so I'm just tightening everything, uh, getting everything reconnected, all the 10 millimeters and all of the uh, intake tubes uh, set back into place, and I'll be putting back even the um, mass airflow sensor as well, connecting that back up, and I didn't get any yeah, kind of errors or anything while uh, reconnecting anything, so that was a good, good thing. And lastly, the sensor is clicked in, we're all done.